Rahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed about the selection if block. And basically, we have seen that it is a type of a selection whereby it is based on a condition. When a condition is true, then we execute a statement. Whether it is false, then we exit the program. Today, we are going to discuss what is a selection if else block. And in that particular journey, we are going to take up the definition, the syntax, and implementation. So, let's start and see what actually is uh, the if-else block. So, an if-else block, again, it is if a condition it is true, if a condition it is true, then what happens? Then a block of statement is executed. While if a condition it is false, then a block of another statement is executed. This could be easily explained. Let's take for example, if this is the start of a program, and then we have a condition So when it is true, then we have block of statements being executed. If it is false, we have another block of statement which is executed. And then after that, actually the program ends. So this is basically what is an if else a block statement. So what will be its syntax? So its syntax basically, if we are given up a condition, then execute statement or block of statements. Else, if it is false, execute another set of statements. So how are we going actually to implement this particular selection if else block? So basically, we are going to ask a user to enter number and find out if it is odd or even. So let's go to Dev C++ and see actually how we can do that. So here we are in Dev C++. Let's clear up our screen. So we have clear up our screen and let's start to code. So in this particular one, we are going uh, to initialize a number, call num, and then we are going to ask a user to enter a number to find out if it is odd or even. So we are telling him to enter a number to find if is odd or even. So that's the first step. Second step, you are going to capture that number. Uh, using a scan f. So since it is an integer, we are using up a percentage d. And 
we are capturing the address using up an ampersand num. Then we execute that particular statement. And then from here, we are putting up our if statement. If, so what will be the condition? If the number num that is modulus 2 is equal to 0, then what are we supposed to do? We are suppose we are supposed to print f and tell the user actually the number is even. Else, else, so else, what are we going to tell? So else, else, we are going to print up and tell if it is not even, then it must be odd. So the number. The number is odd. So basically that will be our syntax and when we run this particular program it's supposed to tell us whether the number it is even or the number it is odd. So let's run this particular program. Yes we have run this particular program and we are prompted and we say enter number uh, to find out if it is odd or even. So if you enter 5, actually it tells us the number it is odd. So that is basically the end of this particular session that we have discussed what is a selection if else block. In our next session, actually we are going to discuss uh, if else, else if statement and we can see the syntax and how it is executed. So thank you for listening. Uh, until next time, however, don't forget to subscribe for all our new videos.